know about you, but I love giving gifts over the holidays. The holiday season is a time for joy, giving, and spending time with those we love. As the days grow shorter and the air more crisp, many of us want to spend our time creating thoughtful and handmade gifts for those that we love. What better way to do this than by crafting something with your own hands? However, choosing the perfect gift to create can be somewhat of a challenge. So today I'm going to ask for your help to help me decide what I should crochet my family this year for Christmas. Maybe helping me decide will help you decide what to crochet for your family. And family, if you are watching this video, make sure to hit pause now and exit this video. You can come back to this video after Christmas. I don't want to spoil what gifts that I'm going to be giving you for this year. Anyway, before we get into it, I just wanted to extend out a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. I officially reached a thousand subscribers, which may not seem like a lot, but to me it's a huge deal. So I'm so appreciative of the people that have found me just as I've started out my YouTube channel. This has been definitely a learning process for me. I feel like I'm just learning as I go. So I want to just say thank you to you all for taking a chance on me and subscribing to my channel. Well, let's go ahead and get started discussing some of the gift ideas I had for my family. So first we're going to start with talking about the different gift ideas I had for my husband. So if you see me looking over here at my computer, I'm just going to be pulling up the pattern photos as we go, just so I can give you an accurate description of the pattern. I'm going to give you a little background of why I selected each of these patterns for potential gifts for all of my family members. So like I said, we're first going to start with my husband. My husband's name is Ben. The first gift that I was thinking of maybe crocheting for him was the Easy Jute water bottle holder with strap, which is by uh, Kirsten Holloway Designs. This is a free pattern on her blog. It looks like a relatively simple and easy to work up crochet pattern, so I think that this would be great if you're looking for a quick and easy last minute crochet Christmas gift. I personally hate carrying a water bottle and I hardly ever wear a backpack if we're just going for a short hike. So carrying a water bottle always falls into my husband's <laughs> responsibility. So I thought, you know, this might be a nice practical way for him to maybe not have to hold on to the water bottle. I know I could just hold on to it or crochet myself one of these, but I thought it might be a thoughtful gift that has a practical use. The next gift idea I had is kind of in line with that travel theme, the on the go snack bag by Moogly, I think is a great, another great practical gift that you could give to anyone who loves to travel or do hiking. You can easily crochet this pattern. I mean, it's also a free pattern on her blog. You can also buy the PDF pattern as well. I think it looks, I mean, it's very functional. The pattern is very simple to follow. It's a super quick workup. So another great last minute Christmas gift. You can hook a little or crochet a little carabiner onto the snack bag, which I think would easily clip onto like a backpack or a purse or, um, you know, a suitcase, anything like that. If you like to travel, it's a great little way to store snacks. So I thought that might be a great idea. We fly a lot. We do a lot of road trips, hiking. I thought it'd be another great practical gift. My next gift idea is probably one that's a safe bet for most people, which would be crocheting their favorite animal. My husband's favorite animal is a capybara, so I thought it might be cute and fun to crochet him a capybara for Christmas. There are a ton of capybara patterns out there. They're all super cute, but the one that caught my eye was the Capybara crochet pattern from a AQ Crochets. You can find this pattern on Etsy. It is super cute. You have two little capybaras that you can crochet. One's got little earmuffs and then the other one's got a little pumpkin on its head. It's so adorable. I feel like my husband would absolutely love it. It looks like a very easy quick pattern to crochet as well. Great for all those procrastinator crocheters. 
So this is definitely something that I'm considering crocheting for him for Christmas. But I think you could easily customize, you know, if your spouse or whoever you're giving a gift to, whatever family member, I think you can pretty much find any crochet animal pattern out there. So if your spouse's favorite animal is not a capybara and it's, let's say, like an elephant or something, there are a thousand patterns out there of different animal patterns. I think another safe bet for crochet Christmas gift ideas, especially for men, is crocheting a hat. The one hat that caught my eye that I thought my husband would enjoy was the Highland Men's Hat. It is on the Yarn and Chai blog. It is a free pattern. It looks like a very easy, quick workup. It's, um, I just love the design. You can customize it with different colors. You can customize the size very easily. So I thought it looked like a great gift that he could use through the winter months. Here in Ohio, we have pretty cold winters. We get a lot of snow. So usually hats are a pretty safe bet for where we live. And what's better than a handmade hat? The last gift idea I had was because he is a huge sports fan, specifically the Cincinnati Bengals, which is a football team here in the US. I found a cute little crochet pattern. It's a um, on the Yarnspirations website as a free pattern. It's called the number one fan crochet pillow. I thought this would be super fun to customize it into the colors of the Cincinnati Bengals. And he could, I mean, we could have it sitting on the couch while he's watching the Bengals game. So I thought that would be a cute and thoughtful gift for him just because he loves sports. And I thought that would be a fun sports gift. The next family member that I have some gift ideas for was my mom. So the first gift idea that I had for her was the Easy Lap Blanket on Easy Crochet's website. I thought that this would be a great gift for when she's traveling in the car or maybe even on the airplane. It gets cold sometimes. She gets cold very easily. So I thought that an easy lap blanket would be perfect for that kind of thing. The pattern uses basic crochet stitches, so this should be a pretty easy blanket to work up if you're a beginner. It also uses the Lion Brand Mandala Tweed Stripes yarn and the Lion brand feels like butta in white yarn, which I think those colors are absolutely gorgeous for the blanket. So if I were to crochet this as a gift, I would probably use those yarn recommendations because I just love the look of it. The next gift idea I had was the heirloom flower crochet pattern by Junebug and James. I actually had the pleasure of testing the cone flower pattern from this collection and it was a super fun and easy crochet pattern. It only took me about an hour to crochet one flower. So really you could crochet a whole flower bouquet in just under six hours. It was a beautiful design. I think my mom would love it. She could put it in a vase in her house. It would be super beautiful, brighten up the space in her home. And she just loves all things flowers. And what's better than crochet flowers because they don't you don't have to worry about watering them. You don't have to worry about the petals falling off or if you have animals, you know, my cats will eat things and I don't want them to eat the flowers. My parents have dogs, they get into things. So I love that you can put crochet flowers and they just last forever. The Heirloom Flower Collection from Jumung and James has five different flowers all in one pattern which has a sunflower pattern, a zinnia pattern, daisy, baby blue eyes, and a purple cone flower. So if your mom maybe just likes daisies, maybe you can just crochet a whole daisy bouquet, or you can crochet a whole bouquet of the five different flowers. I think that any either way, you can't go wrong, but I think it's a fun and simple pattern that you can easily work up. There's a lot of more complicated and intricate flower bouquet patterns out there. I think this one is a safe bet if you're looking to crochet something on a last minute type basis. And more than likely, mom's not gonna know it only took you a few hours to crochet. The next idea that I had was the Crochet Sunflower Wine Cozy, which is on the Crochet 365 Knit 2 website as a free pattern. I thought that this would be a great idea because she loves wine, specifically Moscato. So I thought it'd be fun to crochet a little wine cozy. You could put it um, with her favorite bottle of wine 
and that would be a great easy gift to give. That Wine Cozy is a pretty relatively quick workup and it looks beautiful with the flowers on there, the sunflowers. You could probably easily change that to like look more like a daisy. If your mom likes the daisy flowers more than sunflowers, but I think it's super cute. I think it'd be great for any mom that loves to drink wine. The next pattern idea was the Bulky Crochet from Mittens by All About Amy, which you can also find this pattern for free on her website or the uh, ad-free PDF pattern. So just a little backstory of why I was thinking of crocheting this for my mom. When I was growing up, my great grandma, so my mom's grandma would crochet, or sorry, not crochet, she would knit. My great grandma would knit. She knit us mittens almost every Christmas and she did the same for my mom while she was growing up. So I thought that it would be a thoughtful idea to crochet these knit mittens to give to her for Christmas. I think they are absolutely beautiful. I love the design and the little hearts that they kind of create in the yarn with the contrasting, the pink and the white yarn in the mittens. So I think that my mom would really appreciate something like this just based off the backstory and they're, they're pretty useful. I mean, like I said, Ohio has some pretty tough winters some years, so you could use these mittens year after year. The last gift idea I had is the towel holder, which is by Simply Made by Erin. This towel holder looks super easy and quick to work up. I think it could make a great stocking stuffer if you put stock, put gifts in stockings. I think it gives a great added touch to your kitchen. So I think that's something that would be useful in the kitchen and that my mom would appreciate. Next, we're gonna talk about some ideas that I have for my dad. My first idea was the American flag blanket by the turtle trunk. I think my dad would love this gift. Now, do I think I have time to crochet this? I don't know. A blanket for Christmas is a huge undertaking. So I don't know if I have enough time now to start it, but maybe next year. But I think that this pattern is would be a super fun pattern for any dad that's very patriotic. I think the turtle trunk, if you're Canadian, she has a Canadian flag pattern as well. I'm sure you could find other country flags out there as well for your dad. But in my instance, I think that the American flag would be perfect for my dad. The next idea I had was the I Heart Dad Can Cozy Crochet Pattern, which is on the Joe to the World Creations website as a free pattern. I thought that this would be a fun pattern just because my dad loves to drink Coke. He loves to drink beer. I thought that this would be a quick and easy gift to crochet as maybe a stocking stuffer. I would probably customize this to fit the, his favorite colors, but this would really be a great gift for any dad out there. This next pattern is another pattern from Joe to the World Creations, which is the remote holder crochet pattern and is another free crochet pattern on her website. I thought that this would be a fun, practical gift to crochet for my dad. I mean, what dad doesn't like to sit on the couch and watch TV? Mine specifically likes to watch football, especially this time of year. So I thought that this would be a great way to, it be a great way to organize your space. Sorry about my cat banging on things in the background. But anyway, how many times have we lost the TV remote? This is gonna prevent you from ever losing the TV remote. So, so you can store lots of things in these pockets, not just the remote. In the picture, she looks like she's got like some sunglasses in there and maybe like a charger. So I thought that that would be a fun idea. That's a more practical gift. The next idea I had was to crochet a bookmark. Like I said, my dad loves to read. So a crochet bookmark would be a quick crochet pattern to crochet as a gift. Another great stocking stuffer idea or a last minute Christmas gift. The one that I thought caught my eye the most was the easy textured bookmark from the This Pixie This Pixie Creates website. It is a free pattern. I love the texture of this bookmark. I think you could easily customize this in dad's favorite color. The pattern calls for 24-7 cotton yarn, which is one of my favorite cotton yarns. So I have a ton of it everywhere, so I thought it would be a, a very easy gift for me to crochet that would also be very low cost. The last pattern idea I had was crocheting a police gnome. The one that caught my eye was the Winding Road Crochet on her website, which is a free pattern. You can also buy this pattern on, I believe it's Etsy. So I 
thought that my dad would really appreciate something like this. I think my dad would really appreciate a gift like this. He's been a police officer for about 25 years. He's actually getting close to retiring. So I thought that he would really appreciate a cute little police gnome for Christmas. But let's say your dad is, let's say, like a firefighter or a doctor. There's a whole slew of different gnome patterns out there for different professions. So if your dad's not a police officer, I'm sure you could probably find something. I mean, they probably don't have everything, but you could also even customize a gnome to fit whatever your dad's profession is. Next, we're going to talk about some gift ideas I have for my sister. So the first idea I had was actually from one of my own patterns, the mini spider plant crochet pattern, which is available on my website or my Etsy. I actually gave her the Monstera plant from this collection last year and she really liked it. So I thought maybe I'll add some more plants to her collection by crocheting a spider plant for her this year. It's definitely a safe bet because she loves all the planty things. The next pattern I had, which I've actually had this on my list to crochet for quite some time, and I've been planning to maybe crochet this for her for Christmas, Enchanted Threads. I discovered this account on Instagram initially, but there are a ton of artwork crochet patterns on the Ravelry store. Specifically, I was thinking of crocheting the Starry Night version. I don't even know how this is even possible, but it is absolutely beautiful. It looks exactly like the painting. So I, I might just buy this pattern just because I want to try it out. But I was thinking that this would be a great gift to crochet for my sister specifically because she loves art. I thought it would be fun to crochet it and then maybe get it framed and she could hang it up on her wall. But there's so many different art pieces that you can choose from in the Enchanted Threads Ravelry store. I think if you have anyone in your family that loves art, you're definitely going to want to check out this store. But I will say, if you're more of a beginner crocheter, this may not be the pattern for you. The skill level listed for this pattern is advanced. It contains frequent color changes and tapestry crochet techniques. So if you're a little more on the beginner side, you might want to cross this one off your list of things to crochet, but definitely put that on a goal to get to that point if you're able to. The next gift idea I had is also in line with that plant theme. It is the crochet pocket wall hanging pattern, which is by the Little Light Design Company. This pattern can be found on Etsy. I thought that this would be a great gift, especially since she just moved into a house. She loves plants. It would be a great way to store plants up on the wall. It's very decorative looking. I love the design behind the plant, the little intricate details, and then just how the plant looks I mean it just looks great I love it it looks like a pretty easy quick workup for the pattern looks like it uses medium white yarn you just need a wooden dowel and it does also have written and video instructions for the pattern so I thought that this would be a great gift for her to help decorate her house and also organize her plants a little bit the next idea I had was the flower belt bag which is from the hooks and healers website I thought this would be a great gift for her because she loves going to concerts and she loves to travel. So I thought this would be a great stylish gift for either of those things. It's stylish, but also very practical. It's, I can't remember if I said this, it is available for free on the Hooks and Healers website. If you like to crochet granny squares, this will probably be a pretty easy pattern for you to work up relatively quickly. So I think that this would make a great gift for her. The last gift idea I had is kind of in line with that plant theme and with a little bit of home decor, which is the Teeny Weeny Cactus Wall Hanging, which is by Love and Stitch Designs. You can find this pattern on Etsy. I absolutely adore this pattern. It has been in my wish list for, I think, like a year. I really want to crochet this. I've just kind of put crocheting on the back burner in terms of fun things to crochet. I've been focusing on designing for the last few months. So this has been on my list of things to crochet for a while. I think my sister would love it. It would fit in well with her decor theme that she has in her house. My sister also, when she graduated high school, she took a month-long trip out west and one of her favorite places to visit was Santa Fe in New Mexico. So I thought this had a little bit of Santa Fe vibes to it as well that I thought she would appreciate. So definitely I think this is pretty close to the top on my list of things that I'd like to crochet for her. The next family member that I have some gift ideas for is my brother. 
the first gift idea I had was the Modern Men's Crochet Slippers, which is a free pattern on the Make and Do Crew website. I love these slippers. I think they are super stylish. They look super comfy. I think they are definitely ma more masculine looking, so I think that would make a great gift for any of your male relatives or friends. The yarn calls for the Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick in the color Oatmeal, which I personally love that yarn. It's super soft. I've crocheted with it before and I love to make things with it. So I think that these slippers would be super comfy. You can also add leather soles to these shoes, which I think is pretty interesting. I'm not sure how that exactly works in the pattern, but there is also a brief video on how the slippers all come together. So if you're a visual learner, this might be the perfect gift for you to crochet, but I think it's definitely an easy bet for my brother. The next idea I had was the Fairbook scarf, which is by Through the Loop Yarn Craft. It can be found as a free pattern on their website. I absolutely love the texture of this scarf. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think you could easily customize it to be a more masculine looking scarf based on what colors you choose. My brother in particular, his favorite color is blue, so I was thinking maybe doing like a darker blue, maybe a navy, or even darker blue than that. I think that also it would look great as like a black scarf or even like a more tan or neutral color. But I think that this pattern is gorgeous. It is rated as an intermediate level of difficulty, so it may not be a good fit if you're just a beginner crocheter. There is also a lot of picture tutorials and an instructional video, so I think that you could probably figure this one out. But I love the finished design of this scarf. I think, I think that my brother would really enjoy it. The next idea I had is the crossbody bag crochet pattern, which is on the CAAB crochet website. It is also a free pattern. I thought that this would be a great idea because, like I said, he loves to go to concerts. And I think that it would be a stylish accessory that you could have that you could easily store your phone or your wallet, credit cards, money, chapstick, anything like that you'd want to store in there. This pattern calls for the Lion brand for the home cording in the color Sage. I've never personally used that yarn, so if you have, definitely let me know how you like it in the comments below. You'll also need a buckle snap and a zipper for this crochet pattern. So if you're looking for something a little more, I guess, simple, and this might not be the crochet pattern for you. So it also does have some sewing because you need to sew the panels together. And then you'd also have to sew the panels to the zipper. It looks pretty easy to crochet. So I still think this would be a great gift. It just requires a little bit more sewing. The next crochet pattern idea is the Country Cottage Cozy Crochet Pattern on the Turtle Trunk website. Like I said, my brother loves to drink coffee, so I thought this would be a good stocking stuffer gift for him. You can easily customize this in different colors. You can add a bottom to the Cup Cozy. I love the texture of this Cup Cozy. It's actually very easy to create. You could also get a little coffee cup template from the Naughty Boss, which if you go to the free pattern on the Tudor Trunks website, there is a little coupon code to get 30% off that little cup cozy template. I think that would add a little bit more personal touch to the gift rather than just throwing the cup cozy in a gift bag. I think it completes the whole look. And the last gift idea I had was the carry all set by All About Amy, which is a free pattern on her website. I thought that this would be a great gift because brother just moved into a new apartment. I love the different shapes and styles of the baskets in this pattern. I think it would be great for like bathroom storage or maybe in your bedroom, putting things at your bedside table. So I thought it would be a great functional and stylish storage option that I think my brother would appreciate just being in a new apartment. So there are actually four different baskets that you could crochet. There's a square basket, a rectangle, and then there's two circular ones, one that's slightly bigger, one that's slightly smaller. And the trays call for the Rewind Tape Yarn, which I believe is by Lion Brand. Yes, that's by 
it's on the Lion Brand website. So I've never personally used this yarn, but it does say in the pattern that it creates a lovely stitch definition and it does not pill or fuzz up. So I think that'd be a great option for using that yarn for some storage baskets. But I definitely think that he would love this gift. And the last family member I have gift ideas for is one that I cannot forget about. It is my cats. If you have furry friends, you might be thinking, what's the point in crocheting them a gift? But I know some people might think that's weird. I think it's totally normal. So if you give gifts to your pets, if you have a dog or cat or hamster or whatever, let me know down in the comments because I don't want to feel alone on this, but I'm definitely crocheting my cats some gifts. So here's some of the ideas I had for them. The first idea is actually from one of my own patterns, and you might be thinking, why the heck would I give my cat one of my crochet plants? Well, I thought that the No So Mini Leafy plant could potentially make a great gift for my cats. It is a free pattern on my website and my channel. You can also buy the ad-free PDF on my website. I thought it would be a cool idea to add a little catnip to the pot of the plant. It is a no-sew pattern, so I think it would be a lot harder for my cats to unravel the yarn. I definitely would recommend using a non-toxic yarn, like cotton yarn. I would not recommend using acrylic yarn for this pattern if you're going to make it as a cat toy for your cat. My cats go crazy for catnip, so I think just adding a little bit of catnip to this plant would make them love this gift. They've actually played with this without even having any catnip in it, so I think that they would like it even more with the catnip. And just now thinking about it, I think that you should definitely be picky on what catnip you put in these toys and definitely supervise your cats while they're playing with them. Just to be on the safe side, I can give you a link below of what catnip I plan on using for my crochet cat toys. Another idea I had was crocheting little sushi rolls as cat toys and adding catnip to the sushi rolls. One of the patterns I found that I thought was super cute is the sushi crochet pattern on Ami Amore's website. There is a bunch of cute little sushis that you can crochet for your cat. You can crochet a bunch of cute little sushi rolls. The next gift idea I had is a crochet cat sack hideaway, which is on the Dream a Little Bigger website. I think that my cats would like this. I have one cat, Oliver, who loves to burrow in things. He loves to hide under blankets. He sleeps under blankets. He loves to be tucked in places. He loves to hide in those little nooks and crannies. So I think that he especially would like this as a gift. My other cat, Percy, I'm not really sure. He loves to sit in boxes, but I don't know if he would get into a hideaway, but you never know, he could. This pattern calls for Karen Chunky Cakes from Yarn Inspirations. I do love the rainbow colors of the skein that they used in this pattern, but you could use some other colors too. It does call for a 10 inch steel loop, but the pattern recommends that you size your cat because you might want to get a bigger or smaller loop just depending on how big your cat is. I have one cat that's a little more medium size and then my other cat's a little bit on the larger size. So you just kind of have to measure them. It does give some recommendations in the pattern on what size loop you should use based off the size of your cat. The last idea I had is another cat toy. It is the door hanger bouncy cat toy, which is on the Lion Brand website. It is a free pattern that you can download off of their website. It is a super easy, super fast pattern to work up. I think you could add some catnip to the little ball at the end of the cat toy. My cats personally love to bat things. If it's bouncy, they love it, or if it's moving. So I think that my cats would especially love this. It would definitely give them some stimulation, and I think that they would have a really fun time playing with this. Okay, here's one of the little babies right here. This one's Oliver. He doesn't really like to be held, as you can see. Okay. but. Okay, that's rude. That's rude. You don't bite. No, that was rude. As you can see, he does not like to be held. He is a very hyper cat, so any toys I give him, he usually loves. He's a very active kitty cat. He's actually where I got the name Squibble's Crochet Corner from because we used to call him Squibble, so that's where that name came from, if you didn't already know. 
Well, that's all of the gift ideas that I had. So I think you can probably see why I'm struggling so much to decide what to crochet. I just want to crochet all the things for everyone. I love giving handmade gifts to people. But if you could please help me decide what to crochet for my family members, leaving your votes in the comment box below and letting me know if you have any other ideas. I hope that maybe this will inspire you to crochet some gifts for your family. Maybe this will give you some ideas if you have family members that have similar interests or hobbies. But if you start now, you still will have plenty of time to crochet your gifts. So I will leave all of the links for all of these patterns that I mentioned in the description below, which will link to a blog post that has all of these links. So if you're interested in crocheting any of these patterns, that is definitely going to be available to you all. But if you start crocheting your gifts now, you should have plenty of time to crochet gifts for everyone in your family or just the people that you want to give gifts to. But thank you so much for sticking around and watching my video today. I can't wait to show you more of my ideas in the future. If you like what you saw, definitely make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to see you all again. I hope you have a great week and a happy time crocheting. Bye everyone.